Colorado Springs sell recreational cannabis? It's a question that could be on the ballot this year for voters. Our Allison Zimmerman is joining us live tonight to explain the proposal and how soon it could be up to vote. Allison. Right, Diane. Well, this November actually marks a decade since Colorado voters passed Amendment 64, which allowed for recreational marijuana sales in the state of Colorado. But the group behind this initiative says Colorado Springs is missing out on a big chunk of money to places like Pueblo County and Manitou Springs, where recreational marijuana is currently sold. City clerk tells me, though, because of when the group filed this petition, it's not clear when it could make it onto the ballot. Take a drive around Colorado Springs and you'll find dozens of medical marijuana dispensaries, but none selling recreational cannabis. People who live and work and play in Colorado Springs are going to other municipalities, purchasing their marijuana and bringing it back to Colorado Springs and we don't get any of the benefit. Which is why a local group wants voters to allow these dispensaries to sell recreational marijuana as well. We believe the city's lost somewhere around $150 million in tax revenues since recreational stores could be in business. The ballot question would propose having the money go to a few things like veterans programs, mental health and public safety. The group filed the petition Monday afternoon. It's possible, very possible, that we may do a special election. Because but City Clerk Sarah Johnson says because they're filing it now instead of in a couple of weeks, it may not appear on the November 8th ballot. Because we've now got an extra 14 days in there, it could play out to where it's a special election. When this would be up for a vote wouldn't be decided until later, but those behind the campaign are confident it will be up for a vote in November. Our plan is to work with the city hand in hand uh, in a collaborative method to be able to get this on the ballot. We also know from city data that medicinal marijuana sales tax revenues are actually down in a city. But keep in mind, when Amendment 64 passed, it won El Paso County by just 10 votes, but it won in Colorado Springs by thousands. We'll continue to follow this process and let you know what happens. In downtown Colorado Springs tonight, Allison Zimmerman, News 5. Allison, thank you. It is time for a weather